Hello, in this video we are going to have some practice problem. So the public model described the number of repair calls that an appliance repair shop might receive during an hour. You're either receiving zero call, one call, two call, or three calls in an hour. So the probability of receiving zero call is 10%, receiving one call is 0.3%, and receiving two call is 40%, receiving three call would be what? Remember that the probability that sum of all the discrete probabilities should equal to one. So that means these blank, it should be what? One subtract point one, subtract point three, subtract point four, which is equal to point two. B, how many calls should the shop expect per hour, including units all, on all means? Okay, so now the expected value is equal to the sum of each xi, which is s1, s2, s3, s4, times the probability of each random variable. So in this case, I have a zero times 0.1 plus 1 times 0.3 plus 2 times 0.4 plus 3 times 0.2 which is equal to 1.7 so that means we are remember that this is real life scenario so that means you want this to be round up or round down since 1.7 we should round up so two calls should be should the shop expect per hour okay so what is the standard deviation and including the unit on the standard deviation well we can use an excel sheet to help us to calculate that so First of all, let me delete this. We have a mu equals to 1.7. Again, when we calculate that, you want to use the exact mean, not the round one. We want to use the actual value. And then each xi, we have 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay, and then the probability of each one should equals to, uh, no, um, Okay, now the first step is we want to use HSI, subtract the mu, which is 1.7, equals to minus 1.7, or equals to 1 minus, oh, equals to this guy, minus 1.7, equals to A5 minus 1.7, equals to A6 minus 1.7. And then the next step is you want to square whatever result that we got earlier equals to this number square equals to, see, they already get that for you. Oops, not just that. We want this number and then square equals to this number, then square equals to this number square did i do this wrong yes the square see when i look back i can check my function it still shows that hey b3 and then square after that we want to multiply the probability and then times psi oops Sorry, here's my dog. <coughs> Quiet, Tavi. <coughs> okay, so this one is equal to this guy. The probability of receiving one call is 10%. The probability of receiving uh, zero call, I'm sorry. Now it's one call, is 30%. So we want to times 0.3. The probability of receiving two call is... 
capability of receiving three call is equal to 20%, which we just calculated by ourselves. Now, the variance should equal to the sum, which is, we want to sum all of this number together. Oh, I forgot the sum. Sum of, now they want you to choose the value. So you can use your mouse to check and highlight the value that you want it to be sum. So, so we got the variant is equal to 0.81. Now, it's standard deviation equals to the square root of the variant. <laughs> square root of the variance. Oh, sorry. Square root of the variance. So it's 0.9. So now we go back to here. Um, after all the calculation that we did, we found out that the standard deviation is equal to 0 0.9. So what does that mean? Well, that means you're given or take one call. Um, what is the probability that they got to repair call? So now we want x equals to 2. When we look back into the table, 40% of the chance that they receive in two calls. Another one is what's the probability they get at least one repair call? So that means we want the random variable to be greater than or equal to 1. So we have the scenario of receiving one call, receiving two calls, and receiving three calls in an hour. So the probability should be 0.3 plus 4 plus 0 0.2 equals to 0.9. 90% of chance you will receive at least one call. Now, what is the probability that they get at most two repair call? So that means we want the random variable to less than two less than or equal to 2. So it should be either x equals to 0 plus x equals to 1 plus x equals to 2. So Okay, what is the probability that they get less than 2 call? So this is very important to understanding if the two, the endpoint is including or not. Earlier they say at most two calls, so that means two is going to be included. Now they want it to be less than, there's no equal. So that means we want the random variable less than two. So P is equal to either, oops, um, no call within an hour or just receive one call. So this equals to 0 0.1 plus 0 0.3, which is 40% you receive less than two repair call. Okay, here is another example. So you roll a die. If it comes up six, you win $100. If not, you will get a, to roll again. If you get a six the second time, you win 50. If not, you lose. Create a probability distribution distribution for the amount that you win. So now for the amount I'm going to win. So how many, since they want you to make a table distribution related to the amount that I win. Now let's take a look. How many possible that you will get, possibility you will get? Well, the amount that you win, you'll either win $100, right? Or you will win $50 or if not, you lose. You lose means zero. So the, the distribution for the amount that you win, you will have either win $100, $50, and zero. That means you lose. Okay. Um, now, what would be the probability? So in what case you will win 100? Well, you roll a die, it come up with six. That means you're going to win 100. So what's the probability that when you roll the die once, roll a die once, and then you got six? Which is one six. Okay, so what's the case that you will win $50? That means when you roll it the first time, you don't get a six. 
and then the second time you roll it again, you get a six. Well, what's the probability that when you roll a dice and you didn't get a six? Well, the first time you didn't get a six. Sorry, the first time you don't get a six. Then you roll again. The second time you get a six. So this should be what we want to find the probability of this scenario. So that means we need to use our multiplication rule, right? So that means you want to know, hey, what's the probability that you roll a dice and then you don't get a six? Times the probability that the second time, which is just like you join the jelly beans. The first time you draw a purple and then with replacement. And then the second time you draw a red, what's the probability of that happen? Well, this is two events, right? You roll it once, you don't get a six. The second event is you get a six with the same dice. So the probability that you don't get a six is five, six, right? And then the second time you get a six is one six. So the probability of you the first time getting a six, then the second time you didn't get a six is going to be five over thirty six. Okay, so the rest is zero. There's two ways to calculate that. That means the first time you don't get a six, and then the second time you also don't get a six. So that means it's 25 over 36. Or you can use, use 1, subtract the other two probability, which is 1 minus 1, 6, and then minus 5, 36. You should get the same answer, which is 25 over 36. You can also use that to check your answer, see if you are correct the way that you process the problem, if it's correct or not. So. Find the expected value for you to win. Let me try to use this one. So the expected value is going to equal to xi times h probability of that and then taking the sum. In that case, I will have 100 times 1 6 plus uh, 50 times 5 6 plus 0 times 25 over 36. Well, zero multiply everything equals to zero. So in here I have 100 over 6 plus 250 over 6. Simplify, I have 350 over 6. And then you can calculate that the expected value for you to win is $23.61, $23.61. Find the standard deviation for the amount that you will win. Well, um, in here, I'm go going to show you. I will tell you the answer. The sigma is equal to $38.61. And I want you to do it on your Excel sheet or on your um, draft paper and check the answer by yourself. Okay, should you pay this game if it costs $25. Why and why not? Well, since you expected value, you expected to win $23.61, and but you're paying $25. Of course, you're not going to pay the game, right? Because you will be expected to lose $2 or $1 something. So your profit, your expected profit should be the amount of money that you pay the, I mean, the expected value that you're getting subtract the cost, right? The expected value you're getting is $23.61 subtracting $25. So that means paying each game, you expected to lose $1.39. So the reason is no, because it's not a fair game. So what cost to pay to make a fair game. Well, you want to pay 
the expected value, right? Twenty-three dollar and sixty-one cents to play this game. Then this is going to be a fair game. Okay, I think this is very useful because <laughs> that's why people are not expected to win at that casino if you know probability. Okay, I'll see you next time.